thank you all for uh tuning in watching watching my speed drawing here robert downey jr this was a suggestion from one of my uh facebook fans from my fan page uh it's actually a friend of mine that i i went to school with but uh she suggested that i draw um robert downey jr so that's what i did uh in an attempt to you know give back and just let people know that I actually do listen and interact with my fan page and I value my fans and value their input. So uh, that's what this drawing is. As you see right now, I'm doing just a quick blocking of placement and kind of the shape and form of his face, trying to uh, work out the equation, what makes him look like him. I've never drawn him before and I haven't done an extensive study. So this is more like a, a cold drawing. Uh, normally I have multiple pictures uh, multiple angles. I watch videos of the people's faces, but this is more so I saw this picture. I liked it and it said, hey, go for it. So as you see, I'm making corrections as we go. Uh, it, it's done super fast. so You could barely see them and I've kind of blended them so it, it didn't stand out as much. But I don't I don't have the likeness as I want it in the beginning. So it's this constant back and forth right there. You see, I kind of squished his face some because he doesn't have a long face. Um, and it, it, it is, it's like this battle <laughs> between finding his face, finding my version of his face. I'm making him mine. It's like, this is what I see when I look at you. So each picture is so personal. And um, that's what character is. It's all about how you see that person. And if what you see is accurate, everybody will see that same, the same features and the same thing. And that's where people start saying, that looks just like them because you've captured their essence. It's not just about exaggerating the nose or making their eyes big or their head big. There's a lot of things you can exaggerate. You can make a kind of a portraiture where all the features look right. And then you can exaggerate the hair and boom, you have character. So in the upcoming videos, we'll talk more about that. But what I wanted to touch on quickly is a bit of inspiration with this piece uh, to live up to the name Arspirational. And Robert Downey, when I look at him, I think of Iron Man, of course. All the Most of you do, unless you're a Sherlock Holmes fan, which I am, and I like that movie too. But I think of Iron Man when I look at him. So when I think of Iron, think of the scripture that says, Iron sharpens iron, in the Bible I'm talking about here. And that, script, that, that scripture pretty much tells you who you surround yourself with will eat will has the potential to make you even better. So it would be in your best interest to surround yourself with sharp, strong people. Uh, no, yes, man. I, don't, I, I, I was I had the privilege <laughs> to know somebody who surrounded themselves around yes, men, And it didn't matter what this person did. He was in leadership position. Everybody around him just said yes. Yes, sir. Yes, that's a good idea. Great idea. Yes, yes, yes. And it was like, how is this guy going to get any better if he has no constructive criticism? He's done an excellent job of surrounding himself with people that he knows will feed into his ego and tell him he's doing a great job. When in actuality, the truth was, man, you stink. You need it. You need leadership skills. You need uh, better people skills. You need to grow. But since nobody is challenging you through the truth and through their experience, because no one is bigger or higher than you you stay content in your little bitty bubble and you you act as if you've arrived when in actuality you haven't even started you haven't even got in the game and speaking of getting in the game in order in order to be in the game i would assume that you will want to win the game and in order to win you have to do what it takes to become great and one thing that i've realized about greatness is Greatness is contagious, but it's only contagious if you get close. <laughs> I know when my kids get sick or my wife is sick, the first thing I'm trying to do is get away because I know if I get close enough, all it takes is a cough or breathe a touch and I'm contaminated or I have the opportunity to get just as sick as them. Greatness is the same way. You surround yourself with great people and it will rub off on you. It's contagious. You can't you can't prevent it. I mean, it's a fact of life. Surround yourself with great people. You will be great. Iron sharpens iron. So with that being said, that's my, my, my bit of inspiration. I hope that was just a little bit of inspiration for somebody. But as 
back to this this image here, uh, my character, as you see, I've kind of got a pretty good likeness at right now. Uh, something that I could work with. I'm kind of just rendering. And those scribbles, those are just values, just trying to help me build the form of the face and everything. And a lot of my a lot of my uh, characters, you'll see I do the eyes at the end. That's a habit that I picked up from working at the State Fair doing uh, characters live. You always draw the eyes at the end. Um, just a habit. There's no reason for it. Um, doesn't make you better or worse if you do or don't. But as you, uh, as I'm coming to an end, you can kind of see the resemblance. Uh, I, I think I have a pretty strong likeness with this one. I'm cropping it now. And actually, the final one, I did even more modifications than what you see which uh, you'll see shortly. So thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe to my page, feedback, comments, questions, anything. Let me know. I'm here for y'all. All right.